All right, next tool I wanna to show you is the uh, tubing expander and swager. Uh, this is for, it kind of takes the place of a fitting. So if I wanted to connect these two pieces of pipe together, uh, my option in the past has always been I have to get a 3 8 inch coupling, put the coupling on here, put the two pipes together, uh, braze two separate places. I now have potential for two separate places for leaks, uh, time consuming, etc. So um, the option is to expand one of the pieces of tubing and then stick the other tubing right inside of it. Now I just have one fitting I have to braze, only one possible point that it can leak, and about half the time it's gonna take, plus I save myself the cost of a fitting. Not a big deal with 3 8 inch tubing, but three quarter, seven eighths, and I've got six or eight fittings I gotta put in there that can add up on a job. So first step is I wanna make sure that the tubing I'm using, and you'll notice I have caps on all these tubings, I want to make sure the inside of this pipe stays clean and dry uh, the whole time that I'm working on my project. Anytime I walk away from my project, I just put the caps back on. That way no bugs are going to work, find their way in here. No moisture is going to get in, keeps the air out. You want to keep it to a minimum. It's not, you're not, you're not going to keep everything out uh, vapor-wise and moisture-wise and air-wise, but you want to keep it to a minimum, okay? Um, Here's the cool little tool that comes with these kits. I'm able to uh, ream the inside and ream the outside of my tubing. Let me show you how that works. So if I take the pointed end here, put it in my tubing and just rotate it. And it's best to always have the point, the piping pointing down. So any little bits of copper don't go into your pipe. They, they fall out. Then I can take the other end of this and I can read the outside of my piping. Just make sure there's no burrs or anything that's going to get in the way of uh, making a nice good swage on here. Next, I figure out which of the heads fits. This is the 3 8 Let me show you how this works. Here's the, the tool that does all the work. If you read uh, the instructions, it tells you to make sure you open the tool fully before you put the, the head onto the tool. And if you just watch how this expands when I push the handle down, that's all it does is just expand and shrink as you put this handle down. Now, when I stick my tubing inside, which should fit in, and if it's too tight and doesn't want to fit, then you need to get the reamer and ream it out again. Now it's just a matter of me pushing down all the way to the bottom until it stops. Take my tool back out. Now you can see what how that made a nice fitting at the bottom. Take my other tubing apart, which is straight, and I can just connect the two together. Just like that, and I'm ready for brazing. Now I only have one place I have to put a, uh, use my torch and uh, silver solder together. Uh, only one possible point that it can leak, and I've saved myself a fitting. And I can just continually do this on any part of the piping project that I have. Uh, all the way up to, this one does all the way up to an inch and an eighth size piping. I've got half, five eighths, three quarters, seven eighths. Typically what you're going to use, inch and an eighth is about the biggest you're going to use in uh, residential. Let me do this one, I'll kind of show you a little closer how that, that all expands and works. And that's all it does, it's just expand the end of the piping, makes it into a fitting, okay? You're all done, everything gets put back away, make sure everything's nice and clean, put your tools back in. Always gotta take care of your tools, ready to put back in your truck.